What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Silver Creek Falls Chapter 1. Now this is another kind of text, like a uh, top-down, move-about uh, adventure game, I guess. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. And it's kind of broken up into different episodes. Now, supposedly, according to the description on Game Jolt itself, there's going to be three episodes. And this game looked really cool because I recently played uh, Vigilus Luchis, the entire first act or whatever, and I really love that game. Great, fantastic game. I'll put a link to uh, the playlist in the description below if you guys want to check that out. And this game really caught my eye because it has the same type of top-down, you know, move around, and it has a pretty decent art style as well. I don't think it's as in-depth with the characters and everything, but, I mean, the character designs and everything look great, and it's supposed to have a really cool, like, um, you know, soundtrack and everything. I guess it's about two detectives, but that's as far as I wanted to go because I wanted to actually play and get into it. So let's go ahead and start. Some jazz at the beginning. Nice. Captain Pendleton's office, Norfolk Police Station, Norfolk, Virginia. Captain Pendleton, Detective Sarah Fitzgerald reporting for duty. Ah, you're the transfer from Boston, right? Pleasure to meet you, Detective. This will be your new partner, Inspector Philip Moore. Pleasure to meet you, Detective. Hey, how do you how you doing? Inspector Moore also comes to us as a transfer all the way from England. You were with <laughs> you were with Scotland Yard, am I correct? Yes. Oh, I guess I can't do a British accent. Not even gonna try. Yes, sir. Excellent! I think both of you will make an excellent team with extensive experience in homicide and missing persons between you. I think this new case will be right up your alley. Cool. What's happening? We've had a very strange request come in from a small town called Silver Creek Falls. They need some detectives to help solve a case that's baffling the local sheriff. Silver Creek Falls? I've never heard of it. Where is it? Well, not really too surprising. It's a small town in Hawthorne County, North Carolina. North Carolina? Sorry. North Carolina? Shouldn't they send someone from Durham or Charlotte? Norfolk is actually closer. Would you believe? Would you believe? Wow, okay. Also, how could I deny them a, a Massachusetts State Trooper and an inspector from Scotland Yard? Of course. So, what are the details of the case? I think it's best you let the local sheriff explain it to you. Now, you'll be heading over tonight and staying a few nights to solve this case. All this courtesy of Hawthorne County. Must be quite a sticky case, eh? It is. The local sheriff is quite a famed lawman, so when he put in a request to the high commissioner, the commissioner insisted I give them someone good. We won't let you down, Captain. You two can go, he you two can go home and pack your bags and drive over to Silver Creek Falls tonight. The local deputy will receive you at the local, at the local hotel and see y'all. See, wow, I love how we go from a, a regular accent to like, oh, let's y'all, and see y'all get settled in. Meet him, meet him at the Silver Creek Falls Hotel. We're on it, Captain. S Sarah. Yes. Do you mind driving us there? I still haven't gotten used to driving on the other side of the road. Sure, we'll take my car. Ooh, wow, he went a little intimate. Four hours late to Silver Creek Falls, Hawthorne County, North Carolina. Oh, okay, so this is the controls and whatnot. Can I can I use WA State page? Okay, pay attention to all the clues and information you find in every place you visit. Look at your inventory if you need to review things. This game is a mystery adventure. Details from investigations and story essential and the story is essential, so always pay attention. Great. Oh, uh, I can't use the WASD. That's kind of annoying. Nope. Oh, I'll go ahead and save now just to be safe. So let's go ahead and start. This game is actually really pretty. It's got a pretty cool art style to it. Uh, it's kind of annoying that it's not in full screen, but a lot of these text adventure style games don't do that. Find Deputy Hill in the hotel lobby. Okay, I love how it gives you my objective as I'm over here. So it's got that same uh, same type of RPG style like adventure game to it when it comes to like the basic adventures that are put up on Game Jolt. But it's kind of cool. I'm interested to see what this... This guy looks like Rick Grimes from the top. Deputy Hill? Yup. You, you two must be the extra muscle we requested from Norfolk. Pleasure to meet you. Yes, we are. I'm Detective Sarah Fitzgerald and this is Inspector Philip Moore. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, mate. Well, well, boy, am I glad you two are here. Some really strange things have been happening here. The captain hasn't told us anything either. What's going on? You folk have a long drive over. I'm sure you're tired and want to get some good sleep. I'll tell you all about it in the morning. T tomorrow. Get some good sleep tonight whilst you can. I promise you, after you see the file, you won't be able to... To... I know, I sure as hell can't. 
Oh, okay. Wow, I can't read. Okay, then. I just came to welcome you to Silver Creek Falls and to make sure you were fine. Just mosey on over to the concierge over there and she will give you your keys to your room. Shall I meet you here at the lobby tomorrow morning? Let's say 8 a.m.? Perfect. Sa see you then, deputy. Okay. Can I move? I can't move. Oh, cool. The game froze. Great. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so basically, apparently, the reason that I glitched or I stuck into the guy was basically because I was standing in front of him. And what he did was I went to the right side of him this time, and he actually walked straight basically where I was standing before. So apparently, us trying to both move at the same time interfered with the controls, and it basically just killed the game. So anyway, let's continue on. Oh yeah, I found out I can sprint with shift, by the way. I love how it doesn't tell you that until, like, way later in the game. Hi, Deputy Hill told, told me he's checked us in already. Yeah, here you are... <laughs> Wow, I can't do that. Yes, here are your room keys. Thanks. I think I'll have a drink before I sleep. How about you? I'm tired from the drive. I think I'll head up. Sorry, I made you drive all the way. I still haven't learned how to drive on the other side of the road yet. He already told us that once. He's just gonna wander. What the hell is he doing? Is he just posing? Oh, am I pushing him? I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Get some rest. Okay. Why is he just, like, moonwalking slowly over to wherever the hell he's going all right so can't really do anything else uh what room is all right uh items all right so i saved again basically what happened is i walked up the stairs and the game exploded when i tried to look at the key so apparently i can't do that either god damn this game is kind of cool the door is locked okay it would be nice if she told me where my door was or if she did i totally didn't see where it was so that's two times the game is broken now okay apparently i'm the door on the left wow that's kind of cool it's got a pretty cool art style to it like, I know a lot of these RPG games are made in the same type of engine and whatnot, which is fine. That's really cool that these people built these games up. But it'd be nice if there wasn't so many bugs, or at least... Like, apparently the last one that I just had was... Am I supposed to just, like... What am I doing? Oh, yes, I want to sleep. Okay, there we go. Day two. Alright, cool. I'm in the same clothes. Awesome. <laughs> That's gross. Alright, where's the guy? Is he here somewhere? Oh, coffee. Can I have that? Sarah makes herself coffee. Good morning, madame. I hope you slept well. Like a baby, thank you. Okay, cool. Where's my partner? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Is the game gonna bring... You guys done? Yep, yeah, I'll fill you in later. Okay, deputy. Okay, deputy, show us the crime scenes. <laughs> my car is parked outside, shall we? Sure, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Here's a map of our town in case you feel like walking around later. Use the A button to activate the map to... Okay. Let's do the scenes in chronological order. The first is a house on Fisher Road, close to the end of Washington Ave. Okay. Wow, okay, everybody just joined in to me at the same time. Cool. Alright, so we're outside. I'm going to go ahead and save again. And I'm actually going to be smart with my saves this time, and I'm not going to save over the same file every single time. Okay. Wow. Alright. Uh, what did he say? Oh, crap. What was it? Z? There we go. Okay, he said that... Oh, my God! Alright, and I'm back. So, word of warning to anybody that plays this game. Don't go into your inventory and inspect the hotel room key because your game explodes when you do that. Apparently, there's an audio key that's supposed to happen and the game just doesn't want to do it. So, let's go ahead and not do that. Alright, where did he... My cruiser is on the... Oh, oh, sorry. Apparently, I'm supposed to drive. My bad. Am I supposed to just go up to the car? Oh, okay. So, we all got in the passenger seat. That's gonna... <laughs> wow, okay. Do we really have to sit? Okay, I was going to say, am I going to have to watch the entire car scene? Oh my god, could you drive any slower, wouldn't you? Well, you wouldn't have the sirens on or anything. Alright. Wow, that is a lot of blood. Holy shit. Oh, there's holes in the floor too. This looks like a slaughterhouse. I'll give it to, I'll give it to you, deputy. This is one of the worst crime scenes I've seen. So what can you tell me about the people that lived here? This is the house for the sor <laughs> Oh, sorority. There we go. This is the house for the sorority Phi Kappa Beta. It was quite a popular sorority in the Hoku College. How is a sorority popular? I'll rephrase. It was a sorority for the popular girls. All the girls that lived here were doing modeling work. Oh, wow. So starting to look like we have a motive. Have you checked our se- Wow, okay. Have you checked for Steven? Great. Really awesome. I'm so glad they put that in there. <laughs> Jizz. 
We haven't really done any forensics as we don't have that capability. There is no forced entry. It could be a possibility, but the sheriffs thought it unlikely. So how many girls lived here? Four girls lived here, but five disappeared. We tried to confirm this with blood samples, but we don't really have the tech here for that. Besides, it's all mixed. The fifth one disappeared too? Yeah, she was also a member of the sorority, but didn't live in. Neighbors reported hearing loud singing and chanting on the night they disappeared. It freaked them out, so they called the sheriff, and I asked them, and to, and I asked, and I to ask them to quiet down. When we got here, we found everything the way you see it now. The sheriff and I took photos and some and some small samples, but everything is more or less the way we found it three days ago. Damn, that place must reek. Understood, deputy. We'll take a look around and get some blood samples and search for evidence. Okay, gonna go ahead and save again so the game doesn't decide to explode when I try to look at a blood sample. Blood samples? Okay, blood samples. Why? Oh, okay. Apparently, blood samples. Uh, this hole in the floor is enormous. I wonder if this was here before all this happened. I doubt it because they probably would have fell through the floor. A bunch of drunk college chicks? Yeah, there's no way. Wow, dude. Even there, there's blood in the fucking... Ugh, there's blood coming out of the freezer. That's nasty. I'm curious as to what happened. Alright, more blood samples. What's up here? Bullet holes. Any bullets inside? Some fragments. What the hell happened here? Alright, nothing there. Oh, a Ouija board. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's a Ouija board. Stupid kids shouldn't mess with things they don't understand. Ouija board added to inventory. Alright, I'm just stealing your shit. Blood samples. Uh, same blood samples? Oh, no, apparently not. Game just kind of decided to freeze right there for a second. There's a lot of blood in this place. God damn, especially for just five girls. I mean, I know the human body has a lot of blood in it, but holy shit. More blood, blood samples. That's all there really is, isn't there? It's just blood sample after blood sample. So, I don't know if there's... Oh, so... Philip, you think these big assholes may have something to do with this? Maybe this house does look pretty old. If someone or something made a hole that big, I don't want to meet them. Blood samples. Uh, oh, what's this? Read now. Hmm, a note of sorts. What was that? Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save because I actually want to pull that up. Uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, evidence. Note. Oh, cool. I love that sound effect. The, <laughs> the laugh. No. Mm. The laugh. The sing. They dance. But with who? There were six in this party, not five. Okay, that's creepy. Blood samples. More blood. How did blood get on top of the bureau? On the back side of it? How does that even happen? More blood samples. Am I supposed to check these blood samples? Uh, uh, oh, I actually have to click on it. Not for consumption. Okay. Really? Because I just gave her something. Don't know what that was. I'm going to go ahead and back out. Whatever I just did, she has something else now. Okay, so, okay, so that's kind of cool. So if there's a, this place is really, this place really reeks. Yeah, there's been blood everywhere for three days. What do you expect? But it's not just your typical corpse smell. Yes, there's a very strange smell. There's definitely some ammonia around. Not just ammonia, a burnt hair smell. This place is really creepy. So, basically, if there's blood on the floor, you can't walk over it until you actually pick it up. Or you walk around it, obviously. But, you know. Spells, incantations, and divinations. Summoning spirits. A book on witchcraft? What the hell are these kids trying? Spell book. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay, so I can go into the closet. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and leave that. Uh, I already got that. Oh, did I, did I get that one? I must have. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, come on. I can't look at that, whatever it is. Nope, apparently not. Alright. Sorority file added to inventory. Okay. Oh my god, you can walk on the tables, which is kind of weird. Oh my god, I walked through that table and I was a bottle for a second. Uh... Is there anything else that I might have missed? I checked all the rooms. Let me see if there's anything I can, uh, I can... 
All right, and I'm back. So the reason that I just had to do that again is because apparently, let me go ahead and show you guys so that you don't think I'm crazy. I know I just saved over that, but it was literally nothing changed. So basically, all all this stuff in the menu that's like blacked out or whatever, like the hotel room for instance, it's like grayed out. If you click on that, there's supposed to be an audio cue that's like a buzzer or something that goes eh, eh, that means you can't actually look at it, you can't like inspect it or anything. But apparently that file is broken in the folder or at least for the game itself. So when it tries to reach for that buzzer sound effect, the game just explodes and it ki it kills the game for it. So one thing to know, if anybody decides to play this game, do not click on any of those grayed out things, items in your inventory because it's going to break your game. Just as a heads up for anybody. Also, developers, if you happen to watch this, you guys probably want to fix that because it's kind of annoying. Luckily, I saved relatively. If I hadn't saved yet, that would really piss me off. Alright, so I think I got everything. Can I leave? Oh, I can leave now. Okay. So, I, I got all the blood samples. I got picked up all the books, letters, everything that I could find. I don't know if there was anything else I was supposed to find. But the game did say you need to f look for everything. God, could you drive any slower? Like, I understand safety and everything, but Jesus. I know you're a cop. Whatever. Alright. Now where are we? We're in a park somewhere. Uh, so, what's significant about this place? The cop didn't say anything. Are we in a car? Are we in a forest? Or where are we? Uh, okay. Oh, is this going to be like a really open big area or anything like that? Am I supposed to... This creek is gorgeous. I'm surprised I've never heard of it. Oh, that's... Oh, that's probably... I can't... Ugh, I can't do it until I actually get into the center. Um... Oh, that's... Fuck! I can't do the... I can't do the accent! Oh, that's... Pr wow. Oh, that's... Pr wow, I sound like fucking... God, I sound like Jimmy. What a great audience. Um... Uh, that's probably because they changed its name recently. God, there we go. It used to be called New Adi Amaya. It sounds foreign. What language is that? Cherokee. These lands used to belong to a Cherokee tribe, but they sold it off years back. Sold? When? Oh, that was a long time ago. Uh, that was long ago. The town, of the town founder, Jebediah Schwartz, bought most of their land to create this town. How much did he pay? Let me guess. He swapped it off for a few shiny beads and a beads and a mirror, right? Not quite. He paid them 50 stallions and 130 rifles. He didn't buy all their land either. Just the land between the west of the creek and the mountain. A bit better, I guess. But still, that's a pretty sweet deal he got for himself. They owned the rest till, till about 20 years ago when it was then bought out by some venture capitalists. A famous North Carolina banking family, actually. What did they end up doing with it? Nothing at the end. They sent a crew of engineers over to look at the land as they wanted to build some high-end apartments here. They never got around to building it and just declared it a nature reserve about 10 years ago. Interesting story. What the fuck was that? Okay. So you're just going to open fire on something that in the fort? What? Why? I'm going to go ahead and save. Why did you do that? Whoa, easy there, cowboy. What the hell was that for? Sorry for shooting without warning you two. I saw something stalking us in the woods, like a wolf or something. Haven't been wolves in these parts for a while now. I wouldn't be so sure. Anyway, bring us to the next scene. What the? Are you serious? We're not going to talk about the fact that he just opened fire on something in the tree or whatever? That could have been a person standing there or somebody following them. Granted, you're not supposed to be following cops around, but yeah, just open fire? Sure, why not? What the hell is wrong with you? What can you tell us about this case, Deputy? We got a call early this morning about the incident at the sorority. Hunters found tons of blood, broken branches, holes in the ground, and the soil all messed up. The sheriff and I took photos but left the site alone. Thanks. So, okay, sir. Shall we get to work collecting evidence? Wow. Blood. More of these big holes. I wonder how deep they go. Sarah, do you smell that smell again? Yes, that mix between ammonia and burnt hair. It's awful. Whoever fired those had the time to squeeze out a few, eh? Question is, was it the assailant or was it the victim? Shell casings. Okay. More blood. More of these big holes. I wonder how deep they go. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Okay. Damn it. Skip. Alright. Uh, I know the letter's over there, but I just want to make sure I get all the blood samples. Okay. It's cool. So, more of the holes. Another note. 
So I guess this rules out bear wolf attack. How do you know that note belongs to the assailant? Hmm, same type of paper as the ha note in the sorority house. Let's read it. Note added. Is it going to automatic? Okay. He walked alone in the forest to become one with nature. He got his wish. I know I keep zooming in whenever I do that, but it's so I can actually read it and, you know, I don't fuck it up. So is that it? That's all there is? Is a couple blood samples and some holes and a note? Oh, I already did that one. Uh, is that anything? Hmm, this hair is very soft and light. Not human, I'm guessing. Looks like it might come from a wolf or something. We haven't had any wolves in these parts for a while. Bears? Nope. Do people camp here now that it has now that it's become a national park? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you have bears, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you have bears. I don't know. This one looks like it might be bear or maybe wolf. Okay, so the thing in the house, the sorority house that I was at, those things I was trying to pick up, apparently those were hair from something. Man, that sucks. I missed out on that evidence, but it wouldn't let me pick it up. I walked every little bitch... Every little, wow, every little way around it, and then it still wouldn't let me pick it up, so that kind of sucks. Hey, developer, if you actually watch this, you probably want to fix that register, or at least make it so you can go in any area around that thing and pick it up. Because I went to every spot and nothing happened. I would test that yourself, either that or it could have been I just had a bad load or something like that. So I think that might be it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save one more time, just to be safe. What I'll do is I'll save now, and then when I go into the next part, I'll save over those saves. So, I know there's a lot of people out there that think it's like, oh my god, ADD and stuff. I, I, I hate... Can I? Okay, so so I hate not saving over like an override or whatever, but I'm doing this for the recording sake. So when I do the next part, guys, don't worry if anybody like might kind of, why are you doing it like that? It's so annoying. I'm going to save over it in the next part. Just, you know, just doing it for now in case something happens to my audio. Okay, deputy, tell us what happened here. At about 11 o'clock, same day as we got the report in the park, we got a call from a nearby farmer that he saw a crash car. Or said he saw a car crash. Where's the farm? A bit less than a mile south of here. A mile away? How did he see the crash? His house is on that hill over there. Sorry, kid, but that farmer is telling you some tales. Pitch black night, close to a mile away over Forest Graham. I'm sure he heard the crash, but no way in hell did he see it. Was he specific on details on the crash? No, he wasn't. Okay then, so what did you and the sheriff see here? We looked around and we looked around to see if there was a body. When we found none, we decided to call it that, call it a night. We were supposed to come back the next morning, but the sheriff didn't report in that morning. So you left the scene for two days? We put the cones and the berries up that night, so I don't think it was tampered. Kid, the local wildlife are more likely to see those cones as a toilet than a barrier. This whole scene is contaminated. Sorry, I have to agree with her this time. It was pretty dumb leaving this alone this whole time. Anyway, let's look for some evidence. Yeah, that is pretty freaking stupid. Blood samples, blood samples, more blood samples. More blood samples, okay. Oh, there's another note. Another note? Why am I not surprised? Go on, read it. The young rush as if they lack time. But if you rush too much, you risk losing all your, all your time. Those are kind of cool. They're like poems or something. No blood stains in any of the pasture seats. Solo night driver, eh? Oh, okay. So we're not going to collect the blood samples? We're just going to talk about them being in there? Any ID inside? Oh, okay. A bunch of receipts in the floor. Let's get let's get those just in case the car plates don't match with the missing person. Wow, you think this might be stolen vehicle? They slammed pretty hard into that tree and it was... Sorry. And it was through a straight. And it was through a straight, not even on a turn. They might have been driving fast to get away from something. You guys really think... The three cases might not be related. While we can do, uh, while we do agree that ca three cases this gruesome in a span of 48 hours is highly unusual for a town like this one, we should still account for the possibility that all three are separate, and it was pure coincidence that they happened so close to each other. But the notes, Sheriff Davis seems sure all three were related. Pity Sheriff Davis isn't here. Can I get the plate? Nope. Blood sample. What's that? Hmm, a loosely sealed bottle of Merlot. This isn't much left. Okay, so that's like whiskey or something. More shell casings. All these, all three scenes had casing. It looks like it looks like whoever is responsible for fired all this victim. This is the South, and we're out in the country. A lot of people carry guns around here. Good point, deputy. I really love the the orchestra style music, by the way. If you guys are into that, this is very cool. I would highly recommend checking out this game. It's kind of annoying, or it kind of stinks. I shouldn't say annoying that there's no like uh, soundtrack. Because a lot of games on Game Jolt come with soundtracks you can download. I kind of wish this one would have it. 
The boot is empty and open. Looks like... The boot? That's the fucking trunk, lady. Looks like it might have been a robbery. Animal hairs added. Okay, there was animal hairs. Okay, I added more of them. So I think that's it. There's no more blood samples. I can't really go anywhere else. I, there's probably nothing past the barriers or anything like that. So yeah, there's nothing else. Did I get that? Yeah, I must have got that one. Alright, so let's continue on. I love how we drove through the barrier on that little part. So this game is really cool. It's building up the tension for the story. So that's the three scenes, right? Yep. Hmm. It isn't all piecing together. Did Lee Davis keep any of his case files, notes, or photos in his office? Most of the time, but last I saw he last I saw him, he wanted to take the stuff home to study it. I have a spare key if you want to see if he left the files in his house. I think we can learn more if we go get access to his files and notes. Let's go. This game's really cool. I'm interested to see what actually happened. Like was, I mean, there's all those holes in the ground, so was it, like, some type of Cherokee monster or something like that? Or, like, spirit, I guess I could say, that came up? Okay, so we're in this. This is it, Sheriff Davis's house. Yeah, so let's just go into the sheriff of the town's house. Why not? The famous man's home. I'm excited. I have a feeling we'll get a much better idea of what's going on when we find his case files. Objective, learn as much as you can about Lee. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save one more time, just in case something happens. All right. All clean. Interesting guy. Okay. Uh. Nothing in here. Nope. Gun on the bedside table? Pretty intense. Do you see lots of violent crimes around here, deputy? No, not really. Pretty peaceful town. These incidents are the first thing, are the first serious thing to hit this town since the tornado two years ago. Tornado? Yep, it was pretty bad. Some local businesses had to leave. Actually, the U.S. Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. Ooh, what do we got here? Some, like, escaped item or something? Did they end up buying? Nah, the tornado dissuaded, the, dissuaded them pretty fast. Oh. Also, a lot of that land was in con conten contention. There we go. Also, a lot of that land was in contention. Apparently, the family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah, apparently years back they bought it off that Cherokee tribe I told you about earlier. Apparently they swindled them and gave them a rotten deal for it. U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. Oh, so yeah, I'm going with like evil spirit or something. Alright, what do we got over here? What's that? An Atari? Nope. Wow, okay. Wow, that's a lot of boxes. That is a shit ton of boxes. Alright, makes sense. Camping equipment, tin food, water purifiers, flints, hunting knives. This guy was ready for Armageddon, huh? The sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger. The outdoors in his, is in his blood. U.S. Army Ranger, eh? Interesting. Lots of books. There's a Bible sticking out from the rest. Hollywood photograph. Fire extinguisher. Almost too ready, right? Medal of Honor. Wow, dude. Got the Medal of Honor. This guy was a boss. Sheriff Davis was in the military? Yep, U.S. Armor Ranger. How am I not surprised? So he was a ranger. If he, if he is dead, whatever killed him must have been pretty intense. That is, if he's dead. With, with his car gone, it's most likely he isn't dead. I'm surprised he left so many of his firearms behind. I'm sure he's not walking around unarmed. Guide to how to modify police reports. Nothing else. Photos of Antarctica. Lots of classic lyrics. This guy loves to read. All the lights are on. What's this? Is car keys? It's a set of keys. There's no car parked outside, so I don't think these are car keys. Yeah, his car is gone. They aren't his, they aren't his house keys either, as they don't look like the copy I have. Best we hang on to these. Just in case. God knows what they are. Another note. Again? Different handwriting this time. What does it say? If, if you want to know the truth, John 634, 634. That's from the Bible. Let's see if we can find one. The sheriff was a religious man, so I'm sure there's a Bible around here. Okay, so I actually found that other one, but I just want to see. This guy is a hacker or something? He has so many computers. Nope. This one's still on. Download case files. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. When I open a file, all that comes up is nonsense for text. Must be encrypted. Can you still copy the files into your flash drive? Yeah, it doesn't stop me doing that. Very interesting. The man knows how to encrypt files and yet choose, not, choose to not lock them into his computer. Are you implying that he did that on purpose? Most likely, he didn't put, a, put up a password with the computer itself, as if he knew someone else would use it. That's odd. Copy the file anyway. We can probably find the keyword that deciphers the code later. Files downloaded. I don't know why I went into a girl voice when I said that. Dude has a lot of guns. 
Man, this guy was packing heat. I'm I, Desert Eagle, Beretta M9, and Remington 870 shotgun. All reliable classics. Wow, you know your guns. I'm in America. I have to. Goddamn right, America! Ward of Excellence. Pretty impressive. Alright, so the, the thing was over here. I'm gonna go ahead and save in case something happens. God knows what could happen. Lots of books. There's a Bible sticking up. Yes. John 6, 3, 4. Sir, they said, I'm now... From now on, give us this bread. I wonder what that could mean. Most likely something to do with the keys, since he obviously left those for someone to find. So is that it? Apparently there's... there's no, I don't think there's anything else I can... There's a switch... Nope. Nope. I was just... All the lights are on? I was just seeing if maybe that switch was like for some secret passage or something like that. Where do you think Lee Davis... Where do you think... Where do you think Lee Davis storage unit is? Um... Oh, I didn't expect the keys. Oh, I can't. Uh, let's go to fishing. I don't think a storage unit is there. Okay. Okay, I love how the game just... Okay, so it must be at Banker. I get it from the Bible. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow, I didn't get that. All the secrets... Give us the bread. Okay. I get it from the Bible. Yeah. Wow, how did I not get that? I am stupid when it comes to figuring out the ciphers and stuff like that. Oh, my God. All right. So... Oh, the slow-ass drive-up. It's so annoying. God, I love how we drive into the building, too. Wow, there's a lot of guns and everything in here. Go ahead and save one more time. I know I'm saving a lot, but you, I, the amount of times this game is broken. Alright. Nope, 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 nope. I love how there's just guns hanging on the wall of a storage unit. Nope. Whoa, okay. Uh, Kind of broke the game there. So, is that box what I'm looking for? Wow, I just walked right past it. Uh. This is it. He even labeled it for us. What's inside? Bios and all the victims and some old cassettes. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player in your car? Nah, man. This car is only a year old. No tape player. I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel to check it out. Cool, I'll leave the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. We'll keep Lee Davis files if that's okay. Please do. Cassette tape added. Okay. So I don't think there was anything else in there. There was nothing else I can move to. So this game's kind of cool. I, I, what does this guy know? Does he, like, wh <laughs> what's going on? Oh, I can actually move the camera and everything when I do that. Uh, uh-oh. Did I break the game? Aw, uh, did I... Aw, oh, man. Did I... I can't... Can't... Fuck. My cursor's in the hotel car parking lot. Oh, okay, so I'm invisible right now. I'm still moving around and everything, but I'm invisible. Okay. Sure. Let's go with that. I'm sprinting and everything. Oh. Oh, his car st What the fuck is going on? Uh, okay, there's a car. Sarah turns in the car uh, and starts to take. Very strange afoot. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. Every crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet never a body to be found. Always that smell of ammonia present, and ever seen, even though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage present, might assume that a murder has taken place and the bodies disposed of perfectly? This seems a bit too simple an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim has come from the same college nearby. There must be some correlation. I know it must be so. The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was a boyfriend of one of these girls, and the last missing piece was finding out about the victim of the car accident. Now, I have checked the vehicle's registration, and apparently the car was reported stolen in Durham a few days ago. The owner is alive and well and seems unaffected by these problems, yet obviously distraught at the fate of his vehicle. I must find out the identity of the driver. The notes I'm finding in each scene are also very disturbing indeed, as if left on purpose as a signature by the killer. I am led to believe the answer lies in finding the correlation 
between all the victims and seeing who would have a motivation to eliminate all of them. I'm not safe. For the past few days, I have felt a presence around. Someone watching. Someone or something. I do not know if it is human. When you are in a small town like this one, it is not hard to detect when something irregular has happened. If you are listening to this, I am assuming you are also a member of the police force, and I ask you to please see that justice be done. These youngsters had promising lives in front of them, and now their families are telling me they have disappeared. My heart tells me they are no longer in this world. The brutality of the attacks makes me think that perhaps it may have been an animal, or even supernatural. But the lack of evidence makes me think that perhaps it was from someone or something intelligent and experienced. I leave behind my notes for you in case something happens to me. Farewell. Holy fuck that was long. Good God. And I'm still invisible. Awesome. Great. That's awesome. So if I go into the house, am I going to be able to... I have no audio, too. Like, the game's audio is just gone, too. Alright, so there we go. So hopefully my characters are actually back. So what do you think? It's easy to assume that the three cases are all related. After all, this is small town hasn't seen any major in years. Yeah, but one could plaus plausibly... One could plausibly claim that the attack in the National Park was a wolf attack. Yeah, and the car accident really was caused by drunk driving, and the guy just left his car and wandered off somewhere. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? No, also those creepy notes, the one Lee Davis left us was his, that's for sure. But the one at the crime scene? I don't know. You think it might have been Lee Davis? No, he was with the deputy at the time of the first crime. Also, I can't imagine such a decorated officer suddenly going on a murder spree. I've seen stranger things, but my gut instinct says it's not him. Besides, those tapes he sounds really mystified and horrified by the case. Did you get a quick look at the files? Very quick look. Did you notice that all the victims were under 24? All college students from the same university? Yeah, we need to investigate who who of them knew each other. But first, we should probably check out the evidence, check it for the fingerprints, etc. Yeah, check out those blood samples too. Isn't it, isn't it insane that there are no signs of the bodies? All just huge blood splatters? We have our work cut out for us. As long as that amateur deputy stores all the evidence well, we should be able to crack this. You were pretty rough on him earlier. Come on, you know we deserved it. Chances are the trail's gone cold by now. Like I said, we got our work cut out for it tomorrow. What did, he, <laughs> what did he tell you while I was getting coffee? He was telling me about how strangely Lee Davis was behaving before these case, after these cases. How he was recording on his, recording on his tapes, taking notes. He wasn't eating or sleeping either. Very strange. Anyway, I'm tired. We sure crammed a lot in a day. We could have a split. We could have split this into two days, but the trail would have gone would have grown even colder. I'm off to bed. Cool. See you tomorrow morning then. And I'm still invisible. Awesome. Great. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Even though I haven't saved over my last file, I just want to see if my actual game, if my character will load back in. So the deputy's still following me. Nope. I am still invisible. Great. If I go to bed, will I? Will I have my character back? Day three. Sarah! Okay, so... What's happening? I just got a call from the captain. The deputy's body was found this morning. Deputy Hill is dead? Afraid so. Where is his body found? In the police station. We should investigate the police station in an... Great. So I'm completely invisible. Alright, I will be right back, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. So I literally tried two different ways. I tried loading back to the previous save. I tried lo going. I tried quitting the game completely, loading back into the previous save, going in, and my character is still invisible. So that's awesome. I don't know if I'm going to continue this because it's kind of sucks now that I can't even see my character. So I don't know what's going to happen with you know the next episode, whatnot. So anyway, this game was cool up to this point. There were a couple broken like game breaking things with the whole inventory system, but you know that's forgivable. But this whole feature with me completely losing my character on the screen 
that's really fucking annoying. And I know it's just a bug, but it, it just kind of sucks. But this game's kind of cool. So if you guys want me to continue playing this, if you want to know what happens next at the police station and everything, let me know in the comments below. I'll put a link to the game in the description below so you guys can go and check it out for yourself. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. And I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out.